Pathfinders, how are we today? Hey, guys, I've got an exciting honor for you today. It's the dog honor. Yes, the dog, man's best friend. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, requirement number one. What is the scientific name of the dog family? The scientific name of the dog family is Canidae or Canine. Okay, requirement number two. Name five distinctive characteristics of the dog family. Here's some interesting facts about canines. Canines have 42 teeth. They also walk on their toes and they have four claws on their hind feet and five in the front. Canines have excellent hearing due to their ear flaps called leathers. They have a great degree of ear mobility that allows them to quickly determine the exact origin of the sound and they can detect sound much faster and at a distance of four times greater than humans. Do you know that dogs see colors differently than what we do? Let's take a look by this example. You see the redness, you see the green grass, you see the brown on the house there. You see, they see colors but not as clearly as we can. They distinguish tones of yellow and blue but perceive red as yellow and green as grey or a bit of a dull yellow. But nevertheless they are able to distinguish their owner from other people at a distance of more than one and a half kilometers. Woo! They also have a keen sense of smell. At birth it is the only sense that has developed and serves them to find the nipple of their mothers to feed as they are born blind and deaf. With their noses, they can also identify a couple, or an enemy, or an ovulation of a female, or the mood of people, and the health of humans. Wow! Alright, requirement number three. Identify from the pictures, or personal observation, five wild members of the dog family. The grey fox is small and has a pepper brown back. Tawny sides, neck and legs, a white belly and a black stripe on its back and tail. Another black stripe crosses its face from the nose to the eye and continuing to the side of the head. This grey fox is an agile and canid, able to scurry up and down trees with relative ease. The Arctic fox, also known as the polar fox, is a small fox native to cold arctic regions of the northern hemisphere. In winter, their light coat protects them from predators, especially polar bears, by blending in the white snow. The grey wolf, also known as the timber wolf, or the wolf, shares a common ancestry with the domestic dog. Grey wolves were once abundant and distributed over much of North America, Euro-Asia and Middle East. Today, a variety of human-related reasons including widespread habitat destruction and excessive hunting, wolves inhabit only a very limited portion of their formal range. Some regions in the United States consider these species endangered or threatened. Coyotes are native to North America and they are found from Alaska, USA to as far as Panama. European explorers first encountered these canines during their travels in the American Southwest. They may occasionally assemble in small packs, but naturally hunt alone. Coyotes live in an average of about 6 to 10 years. The dingo is a type of wild dog, probably descended from the Indian wolf. It is commonly described as an Australian wild dog, but it is not restricted to Australia. Most dingoes are found throughout Southeast Asia, mostly in small pockets of remaining natural forest, and in mainland Australia, particularly in the north. Alright, requirement number four. Identify from pictures or personal observation 25 different breeds of dogs. We have the German Shepherd, the Golden Retriever, Siberian Husky, Beagle, the Border Collie, Great Dane, Dachshund, the Greyhound, Pug, Labrador Retriever, The Boxer, French, Bulldog, Dalmatian, Saluki, St. Bernard, Poodle, Chihuahua, Chow Chow, Doberman, Rottweiler, American Pitbull Terrier, Jack Russell, Pomeranian, Maltese and Akita. Requirement number five. Name five contributions the dog family has made to man. 
canines are great companion animals. They also help the blind gain independence. Canines also provide assistance to the deaf. In some parts of colder countries, they're used as transportation. And at the farm, they're used to gather livestock. All right, Pathfinders, requirement number six. Give the name of the smallest and the largest breed of dogs. The largest breed of dogs is the Great Dane. The Great Dane is a German breed of domestic dog known for its giant size. The largest Great Dane is measured up to 112 centimeters tall from paw to shoulder and can weigh up to 50 to 80 kilos. The smallest breed of dog was named after the Mexican city of Chihuahua. The smallest ever dog in terms of height is a female Chihuahua named Millie, who measured to be 9.65 centimeters tall. Wow, that is small. Requirement number seven. Write or describe verbally the following dogs that are valued to man. Seeing eye dogs or guide dogs are assistant dogs trained to lead blind or visually impaired people around obstacles. The human half of the guide dog team does the directing based upon skills acquired through previous mobility training. The ancestors of the Saint Bernard are the herd dogs of Swiss farmers as well as hunting dogs and watchdogs. Their history was also connected with the hospice at the Great Saint Bernard Pass. A shepherd dog is a type of domestic dog whose original purpose was to herd or guard sheep though they've been used for other types of livestock as well. A herding dog will keep a herd or flock of animals together and help a farmer direct them from one place to another. They also guard livestock from predators. Collies are a type of shepherd dog. Some say the Border Collie is the most intelligent breed of dog. The Eskimo dog, otherwise known as the Kimmick, or what is considered to be more culturally sensitive Canadian Inuit dog, is a large breed of Arctic dog commonly found pulling sleds for their Inuit counterpart. However, as snowmobiles tend to be faster and more efficient, the Eskimo dog is now a rare breed. All right, Pathfinders, we're almost there. Requirement number eight. Write or tell what special contribution dogs have made to man during wartime. Dogs have been used by the military since ancient times. They've been used to sniff out landmines, to carry messages as sentries, as scouts to detect booby traps, as attack dogs in battle, or to go ahead into dangerous areas before humans. All right, Pathfinders. Requirement number nine. Identify from pictures or personal observation five dogs that are classed as toy dogs. The Pomeranian is a very active dog who is intelligent, courageous and a loyal companion. Chihuahuas are best known for their large eyes, small size and large erect ears. Poodles are intelligent, alert and active. Because they are so intelligent, they can become bored easily and they can get quite creative and finding mischief. The Maltese is covered from head to foot with a mantle of long, silky white hair. Adult Maltese range from roughly 1.4 kilos to 4.5 kilos. The pug is a dog breed famous for its short muzzle and wrinkled features. The average pug grows from 25 centimeters to 30 centimeters. Hey, requirement number 10. What is the only dog that has a complete blue or black tongue? The Chow Chow and the Chinese Sha Pei are actually the two dogs that have blue or black tongues. Alright, requirement number 11. Which is the fastest running dog? The Greyhound and the Saluki are the two fastest dogs. Alright Pathfinders, we're almost there. Requirement number 12. Which member of the toy dogs has become the most popular? The most popular toy dogs are Yorkshire Terrier, Pug, Chihuahua and French Bulldog. Requirement number 13. What dog has been specifically helpful in tracking criminals? The Bloodhound has been used extensively to track the scent of not only criminals but also lost children and even adults suffering from the 
dementia. All right, we're almost there. Requirement number 14. Write or tell a dog story. In this section, Pathfinders can either write the story as an essay or they can talk about a story like for example the serum run sled dogs or there is an interesting story about a dog that rescues koalas. I hope you enjoyed this honour, I wish you all the best, thank you for participating.